Hello, welcome to the next unit. This week we're talking about Middle English. I'm sorry if the sound quality is not as good. I left my microphone at home. Uh, so hopefully this will be clear enough for you. I do believe that this week features a slightly lighter workload than last week, but do remember that in this summer semester we are going at double the pace we normally do would in a spring or fall semester. So uh, keep up the hard work. Um, what's what's on the docket for this week? We've got Middle English, learning goals, inflection loss we're going to talk about, discourse domains, code switching, and polyglossia are some of our key concepts, as well as chain shift, which refers to the kinds of phonological changes that took place uh, during the late Middle English period. Your readings are Inventing English, chapter 5 through 8. Some of these are, are short chapters, and you should watch The Adventure of English, episode 2. English Goes Underground, one of my faves. Um, nothing for recommended reading and resources at the moment, but I do recommend, actually, that you go in and watch this um, video on the Great Vowel Shift, which is a little bit technical, but it really takes you through it in a detailed way, and it will help you with the Great Vowel Shift assignment. Of course, this week the word biography is due, so if you haven't sent me your word yet, uh, please do. I think I've got it from about 9 or 10 out of out of those that remain. Um, discussion board topics are up, lectures, the PowerPoints are up, and videos will be coming up soon. There's two individual activities. Um, one is on the Great Vowel Shift, and the other is on uh, Caxton and Chancery English. This is about uh, the effect of the printing, printing press and the uh, Chancery in London on the development of standard English in the late Middle English period. Let's go back to week four and see what else you have. Um, what's in the recommended reading? Uh, there's a website that talks about the dialects of Middle English. This may help you with your group assignment. Um, and there is uh, an entire website devoted to the great vowel shift. From, it's a little bit old, but uh, there's some I think, uh, uh, some things that might be helpful, possibly. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Um, what else do we have this week? Uh, yes, the word biography is due. Um, I think you can, you should be able to submit it here. That's right. As a, as a word document, um, in, uh, MLA format, that's all listed there. And of course there's corpus analysis number two. Um, and the instructions are laid out pretty clearly here. It's along the lines of what you did last time, and I'm very pleased with what I've seen so far. Um, and uh, I'll be getting your feedback back to you for that first one in the next day or two uh, to help help uh, you keep on the right track for the second one. But generally, I think you've you've all done nice work, and I'm and I'm and I'm, pr I'm proud of you. So that's it for week four, and then we're halfway, if not over halfway through the course, and from that point on we're getting into um, what is more or less modern English. One of the fun things about this course is that after you've been through Old English and Middle English, reading Shakespeare is like reading Stephanie Meyer. I mean, it's just easy, right? Right. All right. Talk to you soon.